Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flipping Junkie Podcast. Got a real quick episode for you today. I've been thinking about something and I thought it might help uh, some of you guys out there listening to the podcast. So we'll make this pretty quick and just share with you uh, something I've been thinking about quite a bit. And, and you know, I want to ask you a question. Do you find yourself getting more and more overwhelmed? Because I know as investors, as you know, people get excited about things and, and entrepreneurs and, and trying new things and doing more things, we can find ourselves getting overwhelmed and I was kind of surprised as I have thought more about this recently I kind of sort of had an epiphany about why we achievers get overwhelmed and it's not necessarily because we're trying to do too much it's possible that it's it's more that we don't feel we're doing enough and this feeling of not doing enough likely stems from our, de our desire to basically do more, which is crazy and, and kind of a, an interesting thing if you think about it. Because when we constantly want something, the constant wanting and wishing and dreaming isn't really doing us any good. Because doing this constant wanting thing will create an identity of being someone that doesn't have what they want, that hasn't accomplished enough or done enough. And I don't know if you can relate to that or not. I mean, I know I can, and I think I think a lot of a lot of us out there listening, probably, if we're honest, will say that that that's probably you know something that has to do with why they always striving for more and everything. But you know, it's it's like you know maybe if you've heard this statement before, it's not that diets don't work; it's that dieters don't work. And what I mean by that is they have the plan for the diet, and they know. What they need to do but they're not doing it or not doing it consistently enough or progressing and so this whole wanting part of the always wanting more when what we want as being more is more of a, a dream or desire something that that's not fully fleshed out it's kind of like a fuzzy more that we want that's not really clearly defined if that makes any sense at all and i often feel like i know what i want to do and even how to do it but just have difficulty getting started and when I think about knowing what I want or what I want to do, that's sort of like a fuzzy idea. Like the end goal is a fuzzy idea. I want to be, you know, uh, you know, really good at you know online lead generation. I want to become the master at that. That's not a clearly defined goal, right? That's not a clearly defined thing that we want. It's just an idea. And maybe if you're new to, to real estate investing and flipping houses, you might be feeling something about this right now. Like you know what you want to do. You know you want to be a real estate investor. You know you want the freedom that comes with that. And you've learned enough to get started but haven't taken action. And maybe it's because of this wanting of more that's more of a fuzzy sort of dream idea. You know, or, or a, a different uh, you know level as to where you are from right now to this other point of being a successful real estate investor or being able to quit your job. Or something like that or you know like I said before maybe you're already an investor you've done some deals and but you can't seem to do them consistently you don't have a consistent deal pipeline and you know there's options like direct mail and online lead generation and stuff like that but you don't have a real clear specific thing you're trying to achieve other than that whole consistent um, you know generation of leads and it can be super super frustrating because you know, a lot of times Melissa and, and other people um, in the company will tell me, you know, you need to do X, Y, and Z. And it's frustrating because I know that I need to do X, Y, and Z sometimes. And the reason why I'm frustrated is not because they're they're telling me about it and I already know about it. It's because I, I'm not doing it, right? I know that I need to do these things, but I struggle with actually getting it going. And I think the reason can be because we, we want that more and we know that we need to do those things, but we don't have it clearly defined in a way where we can actually pick it apart and do it. Because it's just too easy to dream about what we want or accomplishing something, but dreaming doesn't really help us if we don't follow up that dreaming at some point soon to take action. So if you dream without action, it's bad and it can cause overwhelm. Because we're just dreaming about this thing we want and we keep wanting it, but we're not getting it. And it can be, you know, overwhelming and frustrating. And that's the point we get to. So here's the solution. Here's, you know, when you find yourself dreaming, stop and map out a small project to take action. Because projects are actionable. The dream, the fuzzy dream where we want to be is not very actionable. 
it's not actionable with things that we can do today to get started and get down that path and, and get over that overwhelm because sometimes that overwhelm is really you know just the fact that we're, we're just wanting something that we're not actually moving towards we're not building momentum and we're not getting closer to having it or doing anything about it and that's what causes frustration and overwhelm and I think that's very interesting and uh, you know maybe at a high level it might seem pretty common sense but you know I think if you think of something maybe that you've wanted for a while and wonder why you haven't achieved it have you set up a project to at least get started at it and do some things to make some progress and so that's a question you should ask yourself you know if you're you're just looking at fuzzy dreams or actionable projects that you can you can work at and uh, you know just to share with you also if you're an investor struggling to consistently feel uh, fill your deal pipeline to get those consistent deals I'm gonna be sharing I'm doing another live training we'll be doing a webinar on Tuesday April 17th at 1 o'clock Central Tuesday uh, 17th 1 o'clock Central and I'll be doing this again uh, several times so if you hear this after that date check the website anyway it's seller lead hacks dot com slash webinar seller lead hacks h a c k s at uh, slash webinar uh, to register for your spot for that basically i'm just going to be sharing the blueprint for what we've done to generate consistent deals for years awesome motivated seller leads and uh, the the basis for the webinar and the training is why uh, well, the title is Direct Mail is Dead. And if you watch the previous podcast episode, you can find out more about what that's all about. But we've stopped doing direct mail. And I'm going to be sharing the blueprint of what we are doing that's working, that we're putting more effort and money into to keep that going, sharing that blueprint so that you can set up a project for yourself to be able to start doing that and get to that point, going from the fuzzy dream to the actionable projects to work on. So be sure to get your seat for that sellerleadhacks.com slash webinar hope you guys enjoyed this message and have a great week and love your feedback uh, if you go onto youtube youtube.com slash flipping junkie uh, for this video and in the comments i'd love to hear your input on it see what you thought about it and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet on the youtube channel so everybody have a great week and we'll talk to you next time